recommend you meet me at the rings in order to scan the Ark's energy signature. Whatever you say, BT. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick, and we are once again back playing some Titanfall 2. In the last episode, we got this sweet and swanky time travel ability. Look at this thing. Uh, uh, uh. Got my Michael Jackson on with this glove. But we're continuing on. Mailing guys from behind. Avoiding battle at all costs. This is like the sweetest power ever. You guys. Whoa! Ah! I think I prefer to fight the soldiers rather than the the actual monsters. Rendezvous up here. Oh, those two are going in on each other. Oh, there's three there. Man, these guys, their movements are so erratic. It's hard to get a get a beat on where they're about to go. I guess they're acting like wildlife. Chappies fighting monsters, fighting robots. Pilot, I have located the controls to extend the bridge to the rings. I have marked it on your hub. Okay, before I go anywhere, I need to get more ammo first off. BT. Whatever actions you took in the past have caused the remaining automated security systems to be quite hostile towards us in the present. Push it back, push it back. Oh, shit. I just want this gun. I just want that gun. That time paradox effect, though. Where are we going? Extend the bridge to the full weapon prototype. Uh. Here we go. <laughs> well done. Oh, I can time travel in here. You will need to extend the bridge before the full weapon test van explodes. Where you coming? Where you go? Hold our lock. Oh, so it gives me auto aim. Salvo car online. Blast him. I got rockets, lots of them. All right, they opened the door for me, so now I can go in. New weapon. Wow, that's quite the shield you got there, sir. I can take a blast from a gigantic mech suit and you're still kicking it. Iron. What's with this thing? I've located the controls to extend the bridge to the rings. I have marked it on your HUD. Is there anything else in here that I need to be afraid of before I disembark here? No? Okay, here we go. That was a fancy ass knife though! You're gonna get me one of those. Hop back in. The Ark is overloading! Everyone evacuate now! The Ark. Oh. Did I just die? No. BT. This is trippy as balls, man. What is going on? Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. This game, from what I gather, this game's campaign isn't that long, but it certainly is quality, I give you that. I, I don't mind personally, like I would rather have five hours of a quality campaign than just trying to get like draw out eight hours of kind of meh on the rails, same generic shooter mechanics, clearing screens out. This game has done a good job of kind of keeping everything fresh to keep throwing new gameplay elements at you. Like this thing, oh, bad timing because my, my fancy glove is broken right now, but... Are we wall running up there? No. Over here. Oh, thought I overjumped it for a second. Center. Got a little mixed up there for a second. I got you, Ark. Anderson discovered the IMC intend to destroy the militia planet of Harmony using the full-scale version of this weapon. Pilot Cooper, our journey is far from over. We must get this data to the fleet. The beacon. Pilot Cooper, Anderson is dead, but we can complete his mission if we can re-establish contact with the fleet. The interstellar beacon ahead will serve our needs. And if we don't get over there in time? 40 million souls on the planet Harmony will be lost. We must get this information to SRS Commander Sarah Briggs. Pilot, I see the beacon up ahead. I also see a helmet right there, though. Scans detect minimal power functionality. It may need repairs. I don't have a good feeling about this. Every time we have to try to meet up with someone, they just end up dead. <laughs> it's just Caution. I'm picking up multiple contacts. We got that black cat syndrome right now. Hostiles confirmed. The stalkers appear to be programmed to attack the control room. Let me in, let me in. Where are you going to come back? New weapon. I didn't even get a chance to use the last weapon that much. Oh, let me in. Caution. I detect traces of poisonous chemicals within the fog. The let me in, man. Unlikely pilot. The fog is deadly to organic life. We cannot uphold the mission if you are dead. You will be safe in the cockpit. Pilot, I'm detecting militia forces inside that beacon control room. Ronin. We don't have a sword yet, though. They are signaling distress. Patching in. I recommend we help eliminate these stalkers and then make direct contact with the militia riflemen. Interesting tactic, pilot. A 40 ton mass of my chassis can eliminate stalkers more efficiently. Okay, I need a faster. I'm gonna. That's better. This, I think this class is probably the best one to take out the small mobs of guys. Just because of the rockets can auto-aim and track them fairly easily. Well done. This victory has raised our combat efficiency rating. Be 
BT-7274 to militia forces. All threats have been eliminated. You saved our asses. Those stalkers just kept on coming. We may not have lasted much longer. We're opening the blast doors. Come on in. We need to climb this bitch first. Even though I might have to eventually just go here, but kind of grab that helmet now since we're already here. What? We can attempt to activate that? the beacon from the control room. I recommend we go there. Okay, fine, 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 fine. We better be going back there. Got to get my collectibles. Friendly. Oh. oh. Recommend you disembark. What's up? Captain, what is the status of the beacon? The power is shut down. We've lost all control of the beacon. We need something like this to jumpstart the system, but this one's destroyed. Designation: Arc Tool. Function: Generates power up to five megajoules. Yeah, yeah, we know what it is. Can you repair it? Nah, we already tried. Sensors indicate another one in the substation, but it's nearly impossible to get down there. This place just ain't built for humans. Understood. Pilot Cooper, I advise caution while navigating this facility's substation. You must recover the arc tool. Good luck, sir. Hope you make it back. We've lost too many down there. Taking out Demeter was a huge victory for us. I feel so naked without you, though, BT. I can't do it without you, man. I guess I don't really have a choice, though. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think someone's been killing off this team. Good luck, pilot. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick, and we are once again back playing some Titanfall 2. In the last episode, we entered a new area. There's a gigantic satellite dish in the middle. And we have to go recover this arc tool, but unfortunately we are by ourselves this time this because... This place is run by machines. It's not like there's an elevator around here. How's he gonna get through this place? We should just seal this place off and be dumb. Yeah, that's your answer to everything, Barry. BT is too massive to go in here. What are you doing to that robot? What the heck are these things? <laughs> <laughs> Big man punching Pilot, a broken robot. I am patched into your helmet display to monitor your progress. The channel is open if you need assistance. BT, what's up with these walls? Scanning. Exposed power circuits. You should avoid physical contact. Proceed forward with caution. Got it. Good advice. Good advice. BT, remind me what I'm doing here. Your mission is to obtain an arc tool. Using it, we can jumpstart the power systems and get the beacon back online. Scans detected signature further within this facility substation. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Stay off the electrical walls. Come on, robots. You relax, man. Helmet. Throw a C4 in there, blow those bitches. Oh my god. C4 fucking explosion is so much bigger than I thought it would be. But we got the helmet. Destroyed myself there. I have to remember the explosions are massive in this game. Michael Bay would be proud. Fuck you. Back off, bitch. I don't know how I feel about this gun. It shoots fast, but it doesn't have that, you know, that punch. This one's like shooting fire.
Oh, I can pick an attack? Let's try this thing out. Next shot I get. Don't jump too high. <laughs> My dome piece. It's a maze down here. How deep does this thing go? Scans reveal a maximum depth of 300 meters. What is this place? The station's computer details this location as the power grid for an IMC interstellar beacon. Fuck. How deep is your love? God, barely surviving that. Going up. Get in that hole. Code yellow. <laughs> Drum Double jump just to uh, break my fall. Which way? It's a door here. What is this thing? Arc tool required. Need that arc tool up in this bitch. We'll find it. Arc tool detected at 30 meters. I'm gonna have to slow down that. Thing. Oh wait. It slows down itself, but I might as well just walk up there. Why well, risk it, you know? <laughs> Randomly jump off the edge, just bouncing everywhere. We'll bar this. <laughs> That's sad face. Got it. Open says me, bitches. Oh no. Another gameplay element with this uh, arc tool. Changing that up. Can't shoot that high. In the hole. Get in the hole. Oh, it's a helmet right there. Give me. Two or two, baby. Send me up again. Hey. What the half? Burst, dude. Get in there. Guys, be shooting off as they're dying. I just punched my kneecaps. Mastiff. Is there anything else to grab? No, sir. Downstairs. Easy there, Blinky. Slide. Heat sink cooldown in progress. 
stay behind the red panels. They are safety net. Nope. Let's give us a little countdown. Bounce me around there. Shoot off as you die. Need another weapon. Need another weapon. Gimme. Hemlock. First fire assault rifle. Oh my god. This looks like fucking death right now. Oh! Oh my god! Holy shit! Run, 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 run! So fast! They say, oh my god, I have to fucking shoot and jump at the same time. Stick it! That was impressive, pilot. They're waiting for you back in the control room. You betcha. Man, that was crazy ass shit right there. That's not in the pilot handbook. 